Ugh, I love how they've styled her and her like little her little home, her dining room. We love Medusa Redemption. Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Haley and Stella. Today we're doing another solo Stella reaction. I'm gonna be watching episode three of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Um, I'm really excited to get into this episode. I'll be real. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. It's been a tough one for me. I'm not doing great. Um, and so I'm hoping this episode's gonna like cheer me up a little bit, but historically the last two episodes have made me cry. So there's a good chance I'm gonna be ending this episode in tears. But we'll hope for the best. As always, uh, the full length reaction is up on our Patreon. So please go check that out and support us. If you'd like to watch the entire thing uncut, no edits, uh, watch along with me, that would be awesome. Please head over there. Um, and yeah, let's just get into Percy Jackson. I'm excited and scared. Hi, I'm Percy. <laughs> oh, this is so intimidating. Oh, jeez. Come on. Shall go west and face the god. Yeah, why Gabe? Really? And see it safely returned. The Oracle has confirmed what we expected. That was a fast scene. I was surprised they didn't take any longer or like build that up. I have selected our most compelling candidates from which you will choose two to join you. We succeed. Annabeth. <laughs> and if the mission required someone to push me down a flight of stairs for it to succeed, you want someone who won't hesitate when they do it. <laughs> Good way to think about this, yes. Aww. Who did you choose to go with you? You. Why? You shall be betrayed. I trust you. I'm gonna pack the best snacks. Yeah, you will, buddy. How much money did they give you? $200 in cash and a bag of these. Canadian, maybe? Or from Chuck E. Cheese, I don't know. <laughs> Golden drachmas. I brought you this. Maya. A gift from my dad. Classic winged shoes. She's really gonna miss Why that do I feel tree, anxious? Huh? Like, I'm anxious for them. <laughs> Thalia turned back to fight to buy her friends some time. Zeus intervened to save her life. To turn her into a tree? She fought valiantly and she met a hero's fate. She met a pine cone's fate. Wrong time. Are always in danger. Even the strongest ones do exactly as I say. And maybe you survived this. Are we clear? Aye, aye. But if this is so important, why didn't Chiron spring for plane tickets? Zeus might decide to take a shot at you himself. The sky is his domain. No one mentioned that. People don't mention a lot of things. You know, he finds out a lot from like his friends who are children <laughs> rather than the adults. Who thinks that we should all go get to breathe fresh air and buy our own snacks? There's no voting. I think you should just get to decide we don't vote. Please, can you help your... Oh golly, the road's getting bumpy. Who just can't get along, oh dear, when the team's getting grumpy. It's a consensus song. I thought it was great. To say nice things about each other. You get a few rounds in and you'd be amazed at how disagreements just kind of... I think you guys should try it. Chips and soda's okay for you guys? Whatever. Yes, please. Our voting system's broken. Decisions, decisions. Oh, okay. Monsters can't be avoided entirely. The trick is to spot them first before they spot you. I smell fear. That's bees. <laughs> Some are better at sensing your inadequacy. It's important to remember that if you've ever got to confront one. <laughs> Nothing will stop them. Not even death. Uh-oh. If you guys were better at your job, I might not have noticed you here so easily. If Thalia were better at hers, there might not be a family of squirrels making her their home. Low blow. I'm here to collect your friend. Lure him off this bus where I can take him quietly away from so many eyes. We both know he isn't gonna be of any help to you. And Look, I'm not against the idea of consensus. I'm just not sure the song is. <laughs> Guys, you need to open that window, now. Oh no. <laughs> It says right there where the oh. You, 
lady. Yeah, why would you think she'd be doing this totally alone? Somewhere up ahead, this turns into a satyr path. We haven't even gotten to Trenton, and we're wandering through a forest. I didn't even know we had forest in New Jersey. We were sent on a quest by the Oracle. Would you think it would be easy? Why are you so afraid of who you are? Grover, will you explain to your friend that he needs to pull himself together? He's my protector. He was my protector first. First? Very exciting. Getting to walk in. Uncle. Ugh. Dahlia, Luke, and Annabeth had a satyr protector. That was you. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell me? Maybe because he didn't do a very good job. Shush. <laughs> hamburgers. Hamburgers? Somebody's making hamburgers in the middle of nowhere on a satyr path. They're from our world. Okay, so I knew, right, because the episode was about, the episode title Auntie was M about the Gnome Emporium, but I'm folks. shocked they're doing this so early. Like, maybe it isn't that early, but it feels like this is early into the story. Anyone want to guess what M is short for? Oh. Yeah, we figured it out real fast. We still can. You should have accepted my offer when you had the chance. What offer is she talking about? Not today, friends. Don't look. Please don't look. Why would you look? Oh, shoot. She won't bother you as long as you're with me. It's a pleasure to meet you, son of Poseidon. I'm Medusa. She's a monster. We all choose who we make our monsters, but I'm offering you lunch. The choice is yours. I think we can trust her. What? Dude. Trust maybe is a strong word. My mom used to tell me her story. The point was always that she isn't what people think. And I definitely trust my mom. We love Medusa Redemption. Do what you want. But yeah, no, trust is a strong word for someone who you like literally just walked out, you just met, you just ran into. I don't know. Also, I kind of feel like in this sort of a world, the legends you've heard are not good information to go off of because people have changed. They've had thousands of years to turn into different people. You're concerned I would hold a grudge against you simply because you are a daughter of Athena. We're not our parents after all. Please. Ugh, I love how they've styled her and her like little, her little home, her dining room. You're not a monster, what are you then? Survivor. The gift the gods gave me is that I cannot be bullied anymore. It was a curse. You are loyal to your mother. Also, I think she knows it was a curse. Athena was everything to me. I prayed to her. She never answered. I wasn't like you, sweetheart. I was you. Another god came and he broke that silence. The sea god told me that he loved me. Athena declared that I had embarrassed her and I needed to be punished. My mother is just. Always. I don't know, you should read some Athena lore. And you are a liar. Something's burning. Would you give me a hand in the kitchen? I think lunch is ready. I just... She's not usually like that. I mean, a little. <laughs> she's going to betray you. I don't think she's like that. Then you will be an easy mark for her. Your mother and I, we're like sisters targeted by the same monster. I find myself feeling protective of Wow. Your mother, is she safe? Will they let you make her safe if it conflicts with their quest? I could help you remove them. Oh boy. I was hoping we were gonna get a little more light. I'll get in the air. I'll draw her attention. You hear me say Maya. You guys start. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Dude. Yeah. So we're gonna need a new plan. We are not our parents until. Oh. Now! Ah! Did you hear that? Are, are you okay? 
Now you gotta find the cap. Oh man. You found it? Want me to take it from here? No, no, I got You're not gonna take the cap off? Do they just not want to show us what the head looks like? Before you take my hat off. Oh right, dead head can also it's still dead. hurt. Good one. <sighs> it was a good... Oh no... What are we gonna do with the head? Leave the hat on and bury it in the basement. That ought to keep it safe. The hat was a gift from her mother. It's the only thing she's ever possessed that connects them. That ought to matter to you. His mom's alive. Can you imagine how confusing that- I- He may have to choose between the fate of the world and the fate of the only person who's ever cared about- I love Grover. All day, I've been trying to keep this quest on track, but maybe things need to get a little upsetting before they move forward. What are you so afraid of? What are you talking about? You heard me. Because the Oracle said one of you would betray me. I chose her because I couldn't imagine we'd ever be friends. And I chose you because I thought if I can count on anyone, I don't know what to think or who to trust. Mm. I didn't mean it that way. Alecto offered to help our quest if I gave you up to her. I killed her sister. But Dusa offered to help me save my mom if I turned to the two of you. I got off her head. I think I've got a better idea what to do with this. You can't ship Medusa's head to Olympus. They will see this as impertinent. I am impertinent. <laughs> yeah. Well? This way. Part of your mom's still with us. So this isn't exactly what I meant. Actual <laughs> dangers involved here that cannot be... The song! Did he memorize it? Aren't From you? just that? Oh, golly. The roads get Whatever. bumpy. Consensus. Aw, I wanted to hear more. All the way up. Hello, Lin Manuel. Oh, this is a good, a good character introduction. You guys are not gonna believe this. Alrighty, that's it. I think only thing up next is like a next on Percy Jackson, which we're not gonna watch. That was a that was a solid episode. I was wondering, like. That, that Medusa scene is quite famous, quite iconic. Also, apologies if my audio is like jumping around. Apologize to Haley too, who's editing this. I'm like looking at the corner and she's doing all sorts of crazy things. So we'll make this outro really quick. But um, that Medusa scene is, is famous. The character's famous. Even, even I think in the, um, the movies, which we don't speak of, that scene was quite famous. Like I, I believe, I think it was Uma Thurman in the Percy Jackson movies. And so like this character is, is quite built up and it's a famous confrontation, it's a famous scene. And I thought they did it really well. I thought they handled it with a lot of grace because it is kind of a nuanced story. And there are a lot of different versions of the story. Um, and so it's definitely not a black and white, like Medusa is a villain and the gods are all good. And I think they did a really good job in handling that. Um, honestly, just made me like this was a good episode for the kids because again they feel so much like kids but they're really smart and not in the fact that they're like childish they're they're mature and they're very smart and they're very skilled but they do feel like their emotions and the things that they're struggling with feel so realistic and so real um and they're talking about it which is great because that's not always something you do as a kid is talk about how you feel um, so I, I don't know. This made me happy to watch. I teared up a little bit. I wouldn't say I cried. It definitely cheered me up. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with this show. It's capturing a lot of my, my emotions in a way that I like and in a way that I feel like is going to pay off in later episodes. Uh, and by that, I mean, I'm going to be emotionally demolished. I also started thinking during this episode about like later books that they're going to maybe turn into seasons of the show. And I was like thinking about some of the things that happen in those books, no spoilers obviously, but like it's going to be an emotional roller coaster if this keeps going. And you know what? I'm ready. So, yeah. Uh if you want to watch along 
totally uncut. The full length reaction is going to be up on our Patreon. So please go check that out. Uh, go support us if you can. We'd really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, uh, honestly, let me know what you guys thought of this episode. Let me know what you think about the character of Medusa, the story of Medusa, because like, I know people have differing opinions on it and all. Um, and the story of Medusa and Perseus, obviously, but like, it's an interesting one. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Go, you know, be nerdy, do your nerdy stuff. Um, and I will, I would love to read it. And honestly, have an amazing rest of your week, you guys. I hope you feel a little better than me. I hope you have a little better mood. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.